everyone my name is Barbara and welcome back to my Excel channel thanks for joining me again I really appreciate your time today I'm going to show you how to control multiple pivot tables with just the one slicer or filter so I've got my data set up here it's simple sales data I've got an east a west a north and a south version oh now I haven't got a pivot table for the for the south so let's go ahead and I'll just create one. Well, I don't need to create one. I can just copy the original. So I can either select the whole pivot table, but if it's a big pivot table, what you can do is you can go to the pivot table analyze tab. And if you go to the actions area and select entire pivot table, Excel does the hard work for you. It'll select the whole pivot table, hit control and C, and then just control and V and you've got an exact copy of your pivot table. Now this is for the south region, so let's just go ahead and filter on south. So I'm all set up for south, north, west, and I think I need to click east on here. So I'm all set up, all of my areas are set up. What I need to do is I need to always filter on a specific date on these. So I want to filter out on every pivot table, the second of the second. So let's go to, we want to insert a slicer. So we go to insert, always have your cursor in the cell, in a cell on your pivot table, go to slicer and we want to slice or sort by date. So all of the available dates are there. So let's click on the second. That's great, that's worked. Let's go to the west, north, and the south, and it's still showing all of the original data. That's because this slicer is not connected to those pivot tables. What we can do is we right click on the slicer and we go to report connections. And we can see exactly which of the reports are being controlled by the slicer. So if we select them all, hit OK, and then go back, we can see they're all connected. So let's look at the third. So I've got sales in the east for the third, the west, the north and the south. Let's try it again. Have I got anything for the seventh? Okay, for the east. I've nothing for west, nothing for north, and I've something for the south. If you find this information useful, I've put a link to my pivot table playlist in the description box below for you. You might want to check that out and get some more awesome tips for your pivot tables. But that's it. That's how you control multiple pivot tables in an Excel spreadsheet. No VBA, no code, no macros needed. I hope you enjoyed the tip and I'll see you next time.